HubSpot has recently made a major product update that affects B2B marketers. And this is offline conversion tracking, which HubSpot is calling ads optimization events. But what it allows you to do is pass the value of a closed one deal from HubSpot CRM back into the originating advertising source. Now this teaches the artificial intelligence about your business and how you value your potential customers through each stage in the marketing funnel and in the sales funnel. This allows your advertising spend to become smarter with automated ROI tracking and optimization. Now first, who am I? I'm Chris Breeks. I'm the founding partner of the digital agency, Major Tom, and we're a HubSpot Gold partner. Now this offline conversion tracking solves a couple of problems. First of all, offline conversion tracking was near impossible before, and it was difficult to troubleshoot. This integration is seamless. With a click of a few buttons, you're able to set this up. And I'm going to show you with a live demo in just a couple of minutes. Previously, it was challenging to determine lead progression from Google and Facebook advertising and understand which stages of the marketing funnel customers were re-engaging and converting. For me, and for some of us, we were losing faith in boosted content marketing campaigns. So for example, if someone was engaging with content uh, that was designed to be mid-funnel in the consideration stage, we didn't know that that was necessarily converting into a sales qualified lead. This will allow us to track that. So some of these key benefits are, you can calculate the ROI for what an MQL is worth or an SQL, uh, or when a deal is created or a proposal is sent, um, as well as when you win a new piece of business and attribute that back to the advertising source. And the setup is automated and there's a high degree of accuracy um, with setting this up and, and the confidence that it gives you very quickly that you're on the right track. Ultimately, we can also build better lookalike audiences off of this data. Previously, we would optimize for conversions, but there could have been junk in those conversions. Maybe uh, a job seeker filled out your lead form or someone was trying to sell you through the website. And now you can optimize further down in the funnel and tell the artificial intelligence, hey, give me more of these good quality leads. And we're able to pass the value of a customer or a closed one deal back into the originating advertising source. So for example, let's say that your website generates a lead that turns into a whale of a client. Maybe it's worth six figures or more. Uh, you get ROI for the whole year. Well, now you can tell Google about that whale and you can say, hey, Google, give me more whales, or at least give me more leads that look like whales. And as that AI learns, your cost per new customer acquisition will go down, your lead volume should go up, uh, and your closed one deal should go up. We're talking about nailing it and then scaling it. Now, there are a couple of potential roadblocks and challenges that we need to look out for. So for example, you may not have a large volume of leads that are coming from Google and Facebook. And it's gonna take a long time to, to train the artificial intelligence on like what a lead is worth to you. We've got some ideas how we can overcome that challenge. And I'll talk about that in a demo in a second. Another challenge might be that you don't have HubSpot yet. Well, you're gonna need it. Um, and you're going to need the right license. You're gonna need either marketing professional or marketing enterprise. And if you're evaluating upgrading or you're evaluating HubSpot, this is a reason to change. This is complete advertising tracking for B2B lead generation. And it's the most significant update that I've seen from HubSpot in five years. Salesforce launched this functionality about a year ago. Um, and there's a few case studies on it, but by and large, not a lot of B2B marketers have implemented this probably because it's been limited to the enterprise. So this is a game changer. Um, one thing you're going to need to know though is what your business math looks like. And I'll show you an example. Let's say you're generating 82 SQLs a month and they're worth $207. Well, how do you calculate that? Well, you take your total net new business that you've generated and divide it by the number of leads that you had per month. Do that in each stage. Anyway, so, 
let's say that you're sending out 45 proposals and about one in four of those are closing into a client. That average client is worth $15,000. Your net new business is $165,000. But maybe only 10% of those leads are coming from Google or for Facebook. But at least you know your business math and you probably need to have a spreadsheet that might look something like this, where you're tracking you know, number of leads that came in a month, how many made it to, uh, to MQL, that was 67%. How many made it to SQL, that was 49%. And as they go down the funnel, which are of, what are these worth to you? You're going to need to know this because we need to tell Google and we need to tell Facebook what it's worth to you. So here we are. I'm in HubSpot now. I'm going to show you how to set up this offline conversion tracking. You need to be uh, up here in the navigation in marketing and in ads. I don't know if you can see that there, but if you click on ads, you come to this screen, you can see all of your different campaigns that you're running in uh, Google and Facebook and LinkedIn. We're just looking at Google right now. We're looking at October. We can see that we had 20 contacts generated and sadly no deals and how much we spent. Anyway, you've seen this before if you've done a demo or if you work within HubSpot Marketing Hub now. However, up here, there's a, you can see there's a new event section. So we're gonna create a new event and we are going to track and communicate to Google what an MQL is worth. So say, hey Google, if someone in HubSpot comes from Google and reaches the stage of MQL, let's use a custom amount. And that custom amount, if we go back, we look at our math, oh, an MQL is worth $101. Now, we want to make sure that we pass this conversion back into Google. So we click this button here. That looks right. All right, let's create this event. Boom, we've just calculated what marketing qualified leads, or sorry, we've just communicated what marketing qualified leads are worth. Next, let's look at SQLs. We're gonna use a custom value. Hey, what's our math? Oh, they're worth $207, Google. Here we go. All right, we've just created, we've just communicated what MQLs and SQLs are worth. Now, we are going to communicate 166 plus 82, uh, you know, events back in, that's 240 events. But remember, only a certain number of these come from Google, right? So we've said 10%. Now we're communicating about 24 conversions a month back into Google. We might want to optimize for more stages, so we're communicating more data back in there. So let's communicate what a customer is worth. A customer comes in through the system from a Google ad, we're gonna use a custom value. We're going to pass the value of the deal. So use the deal amount. Now it does say to set a default value. And if we look at our math, we know our default value is about $15,000. So we're gonna plug that in there, 15, one, two, three, but it is gonna take the value. So if it was a $100,000 deal, it's gonna map that back. If it was a $2,000 deal, it's going to map that back. And later on, we're gonna to have to revisit our math. We're probably gonna to have to revisit our math every quarter. Anyway, let's include in conversions, make sure we set this all up. I'm working on this in real time. This is a real world example. Create event. All right, now we're tracking customers. Now, where does this conversion tracking appear? It appears in here. So I'm in the Google Ads account, I'm under tools and settings, I'm in the conversion section. If we look down at the bottom, we can see our HubSpot MQLs and SQLs. We have leads optimized there from a previous conversion. And I wanted to look at some historical data. We can see that we're communicating this in, it's working. I highly recommend that you set this up. Uh, if you need a hand, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, again, my name is Chris. I'm from the digital agency, Major Tom and you can find us at majortom.com. Thanks for your time, chat soon.